It's nice to finally get some things off my to-do list. Let's see. Yep. Only got one more thing to go. I got it. So to start with the peanut brittle, you're going to add in a medium sauce pot, one pound of white sugar, four ounces of light corn syrup, four ounces or one stick of unsalted butter, and two ounces of water. Then you're gonna stir that together and then go ahead and put that onto the stove on about medium low heat. Meanwhile, while you're waiting for that to heat up, in a separate bowl, you're gonna combine 12 ounces of roasted dried peanuts. And to that, you're going to add in half a teaspoon of cinnamon and optional ingredient here, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you're not super crazy about the flavor of cayenne, you don't have to put it in. It does not make the peanut brittle spicy at all. Actually, it's a really good flavor. So that's why I'm gonna add it here. After that, just give the nuts a quick toss and set them aside. Now back to the candy. While the syrup is heating up, you're gonna stir it every once in a while, then put in your candy probe thermometer and set it for 310 degrees. Now in the beginning of making the sugar syrup, you're gonna see a bunch of sugar crystals kind of clinging to the sides here. In order to get rid of those, because we don't want the candy to get gritty, is you're going to just cover with a lid and leave for about two to three minutes. Afterwards, uncover and continue cooking on medium heat, stirring every once in a while until you hit your target temperature. Just like that. Then you're going to add in a half teaspoon of baking soda. Now I know that sounds like a weird ingredient, but the baking soda here actually aerates the candy a little bit and turns it into a brittle. If you didn't put this in, this would be more of a peanut hard candy, which is not what we're shooting for here. So stir that in, it will bubble up a little bit. Be careful here, it's very, very hot. And then you're going to stir in the peanuts. Stir that very carefully to coat. Now from here, you have to work really quickly, otherwise the candy will harden up. So pour it onto a baking mat and then go ahead and try to spread it out as much as you can. It's super important to spread this out super thin, otherwise the candy will be too thick to bite into. Now just continue spreading out the candy and no, trust me, you definitely don't want to steal any right now. It's super hot, you'll definitely burn yourself. Just be patient and wait. Then once you've spread it out as much as you can, sprinkle the entire top of the candy with kosher salt and then let the candy sit and cool for two to three hours to let it harden. Now, after a couple of hours, you'll see the candy has solidified into a solid sheet. Now, when it comes to breaking up the candy, there's all sorts of different tools that you can use. But for me, I'm just gonna keep it simple. Just break the candy apart with your hands into small pieces, and there's your brittle. Now, of course, you can't make this much brittle without having a little test yourself. Mmm, crispy and delicious. Then from there, go ahead and set it aside. Kept in an airtight container or sealed in a Ziploc bag, the brittle will last for about a month. Or you can wrap this up and give it as a gift. So this way your girlfriend's not mad at you. Just make sure whatever you do to wrap it up pretty well. And now with Valentine's Day saved, let's go ahead and give this. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you. I thought you forgot. Never. I know we can't really go out for Valentine's Day right now, but um, what do you want to do? Can we get a cat? Listen here. Well, happy Valentine's Day. See you next time.